let us begin. Is this too distracting? So this week, we are doing something a little bit different. So if you've been on the internet pretty much any time in the past year and a half, you probably noticed that social media has kind of gathered to these newfangled aesthetic names. Cottagecore, Dark Academia. I, for one, am all for it. As to me, it's just kind of another version of playing dress up and... Oh no. Mark Zuckerberg. He's got the Black Death. Oh no, how did that happen? I thought it was like next to impossible to kill succulents. Remember the good times. His name's Mark Zuckerberg. Aha! I see what you did there. Mm, thanks, bitch. Anyways. I don't know, I just, I find it fun that people are exploring fashion, more eccentric styles that maybe they wouldn't have tried if they didn't know that these communities communities existed online. So one of those aesthetics that I particularly have been seeing a lot of lately is nightcore. <laughs> While not particularly the most practical of aesthetics, Aesthetics. I wouldn't really consider myself a spiritual person, but. Ladies with swords. My new religion is ladies with swords. There's something so fantastical and magical about shining armor and swords and castles. And it's just, I feel like it triggers that basic storytelling instinct of humans is that we see an image like that and then we want to make up the backstory to whatever we're presented with. Anywho, I'm usually not super up to date with YouTube video trends, but one thing I have been seeing, I dressed blank for a week. And I, I don't know why, I always just find it super satisfying. Come here, don't chew my plants. No, don't do it. Come here. So I already had the idea that I wanted to do a nightcore video. Might as well make it into I try dressing nightcore for a week. It's not a full week, it's five days. It's a work week, it's fine. <laughs> the other part of this video is a collaboration with one of my favorite artists of all time, Savannah Alexandra Art. Basically, she made a whole Pinterest board of nightcore related things. I picked out what I liked. We settled on this. Five nightcore outfits that I'm gonna be replicating a tad bit nervous. Mostly because I feel like in these kind of videos, people actually do fun things and go places. I'm going to put a little bit more effort into going out and doing things. Whew. That was a lot of talking. But hopefully the premise is explained. Without further ado, it is day one. Let's uh, go through what we're doing today. Okay, let's get started. I am going to be going a little bit out of order here. First up is actually the last outfit in the sequence. In all honesty, it's because I have all these elements already and I don't have to make anything for this. The rest I still have to finish up. <laughs> so I thought maybe I could head to one of my favorite fields. Are you truly a frolicker if you don't have favorite fields? <laughs> Maybe take some artsy photos. Good enough. <sighs> now, aside from doing a photo shoot today, I also have to run to the thrift store and pick up what I need to make the rest of these outfits, which I might just pop off the chest plate for because, um, <laughs> I'm painfully self-aware. Okay, so let's talk through what I'm gonna wear. like a vampire, so we might as well embrace it. <sighs> Dracula. Who's? Tally ho. All right, we're here. I should have emptied my bladder before 
I put on tight leather pants. Let that be a lesson to you kids. Let's suit up. There is a sort of pond on this property, I believe. That would offer the best private area for me. It's a longer walk than I remember it being, that's for sure. Let's take a moment of appreciation here. Now you're just showing off, nature. Aha! All right. Once I got settled down, I began my quest of taking some artsy photos, which can be seen here. Wow. Then I sat and enjoyed some nature for a bit, uh, tried to forget how sweaty I was, and if you thought you were going to make it one video without me mentioning my perspiration. Haha. Hear it for nature, guys. Ready? One, two, three. Nature. Now off to the thrift store. Okay, we're at the thrift store. You know, I felt like this morning I was really nervous about going to the thrift store dressed in this, but the more hot and bothered I get, I just, I don't care. If anyone asks, I am an eccentric vampire looking like one of the boys from What We Do in the Shadows. Feeling good. up picking a few things of which you will see right now. First up I picked up this old purse. This will work great for all the leather work I need to do and as well as using the straps for shoulder pauldrons later on. And we're gonna wreck it. Now to make the vest for day two I'm actually gonna recycle this Shrek core vest that I made. What are you doing in my swamp? Once I have the components all laid out flat, I cut out these little leaflet shapes using this image as a reference. And I just did that basically 5,000 times. Just kidding, it's like 10 each side. So once I hand sewed those on, it's time to use these things. So just using these as little rivets, I make a hole with an X-Acto and then turn it over and spread it out. Pretty easy. Now it's time to paint. Okay, so I'll be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing today. <laughs> Since this outfit kind of reminds me of like something Belle would wear, I think I'm going to head to this park that I've been to that has like old ruins. I'm hungry, so I think I'm gonna go grab a baguette from the <laughs> grocery store and a good old book. And we're gonna go there and just chill out and read for a little bit. Allons-y! <laughs> Got the essentials, baguette. Some girl said she liked my outfit. <laughs> I have never received as many compliments as I have from teen girls, which is like the complete opposite of when I grew up. So, you know, this next generation, man. Bless them. Let's go uh, read a book. I definitely got some interested looks this day. It's like no one's ever seen a floor troll guzzle a bottle of Diet Coke. <laughs> Here is me reading in various positions. So after I couldn't stand the heat any longer, I decided to go home. You know, I had a lot more important things to do.
34. Making armor with Grandma Rachel. Okay, here goes nothing. We're gonna take this foam sheet. Figure out the dimensions we want each poultry to be. I settled on about seven inches wide and six inches long. I then took that length and halved the width so that I would have half a pauldron. Flip it over and cut out the same thing. And then they go together like so. Although this was a little too booby cup and not shoulder cup, so I trimmed it down a little. And then I cut out a bunch of these. I cut the edges that were gonna go together on a bevel and then contact cemented both and stuck them together. Very satisfying. Then they were feeling a bit stiff, so I used my heat gun to help me round this out a bit and also add that edge lip that the illustration has. Use my Dremel to sand out all the hard bits. Then handy dandy quick seal to fill in all the cracks. Put some water on your finger and smooth it out. It helps it look way cleaner. So while those set, let's get on with the day. I actually have a photo shoot, a duo of photographers that I met on Instagram. I don't think I've ever professionally had my photo taken, aside from like my wedding. So this should be interesting. I'm going to one of my favorite castle looking spots. My plan was to go up there early, but it's quite a hike away and I um, didn't really time manage that well. Oh, 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 I kind of like Michael Jackson. I'm gonna change out of these shoes. Oh, I'll tell you what, me and my wide ass feet don't go well with thin little elf shoes like this. I got like beaver tail feet. Oh, and I'm proud of it. All right, to the castle. Y'all, why didn't you tell me I had lipstick on my chin that entire time? I trusted you. Now let's go. ladies left, I ventured back up in a different outfit to find a good spot to relax and do some painting. This place has always been really special to me. Nick and I got married right down the hill and took some wedding photos here, so I wanted to cement it in my memory forever in my little drawing book. Here is an out of focus shot of me painting because I am a professional. was done I began the hike back home and also chugged about three bottles of water. Doesn't everyone's day start with a good session of plasti dipping? Good morning. Oh, that's crooked. Oop. I did a second layer of plasti dip on these babies so while those are drying I'm gonna get to work on um, a little surprise. And fun fact, I just walked out here to get my camera, but forgot what I was doing. So no exaggeration or dramatization, this is what it looked like. Enjoy. <clears throat> Oh, 
Eu tinha ensino. <música> While thoroughly multitasking, I finished up the pauldrons, painted the straps, waited for that to dry, and then used my handy dandy glue gun to secure it. Did somebody say casual armor? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that took me way longer than I thought, and it's already like 3.30, so I'm gonna have to find something to do today. <laughs> Nothing says, do not approach me, like casual. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, this day felt like Satan's butthole, so I didn't end up doing much. I played some frisbee with the boy. And then did the only logical thing I can think of, pour some pumpkin cold brew into an appropriate mug and quietly seethe by myself about how I wish it was autumn. But then I figured sustenance was probably important, so I, you know, I made dinner. Then it was time to make the corset of the final outfit. So basically the pattern looked like these three pieces. Okay, I swear this footage was two weeks ago. I'm not an addict. For this corset, I used an old skirt that I don't wear anymore, which always takes a little bit more finagling when you're trying to fit the pattern pieces on, but I eventually figured it out, except for the back lining piece that needed to be cut out of a different fabric, but you can't even see it, so it's fine. Then I just kind of winged that little peplum at the bottom, cut it out, sewed it on top, and lined the whole thing with this gold bias tape and I decided to sew that by hand so it would have a little bit more of a medieval look. Yes, this took forever. Once the holes were all punched out and sewn, it was ready to go. So, um, Fridays are my editing days. <laughs> Some exciting content for you. Things just got meta. All right, so I figured I would do a little wrap up since this is the last day in the last outfit. Yeah, I'm not doing much today other than editing and finishing this baby up. I do have a wedding I have to go to tonight, so I will not be blinking for the next few hours. At first I felt kind of guilty for not going anywhere in this outfit because it is really cute. I'm really happy with how the corset came out. It's also like, I, why, am, why am I feeling guilty? I think I hit my level cap for um, extroverted activities. Now it's editing troll time. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I have not had this much fun editing in a really long time. Hope that you guys like this format because I would love to do this again with a different kind of style or different outfits. And I had so much fun collaborating with Savannah. She is friggin' amazing. No kidding, at like midnight, I was editing this and talking to her and she whipped up all of those idle animations in the menu screens and I love her. 
I had a lot of fun trying to replicate the stuff in her images. Some of the stuff I wasn't completely able to do. For instance, these aren't the right color. Oops. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. I love you whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. Ow. Feel free to subscribe. I upload almost every Friday and we have fun here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. So, <laughs> me now. I know you're not usually allowed in here, but have you come to mourn Mark Zuckerberg? Family sits on the left. There's a pamphlet at the door. There will be a small gathering later on this evening to celebrate his life. So, now that I have this. Bleh, so much noise when I walk. From now on, that is how I'm going to enter a room. Good evening, everyone. I said you go for it. Here's my night. Yum, 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 yum. Don't worry, I won't forget ya.